They made ready for war. The world had fallen into shadow. The earth grew cold, and the wind whispered of death. And I beheld a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of scales in his hand. Attila was born. All knelt before him. For they knew he would devour the earth and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Attila was born from darkness and despair. Hello everyone and welcome back to Total War Attila. Uh, the Geats as our in our restarted campaign. So uh, I played a little bit forward. I was recording and then the game decided to be weird. But the birth of Attila has happened. We have preparation, bonus, objectives, complete zero out of four. They made ready for war. Um, we have a mission, survive until spring of 420. So there you go. Those are our objectives. Uh, we just killed the Danes because they... We're raiding my land, so I murdered them. Ooh, look at these herdmen. Yes, please. Let's get some of them, and we'll get some Nordic hurlers. Gonna get ready to take this land once these guys are healed up. Let's get rid of these mercenaries. And we'll get some herdmen. Beautiful. Um, we can make a logging camp. Oh, I don't see the point in that. Um, I need manorial lands. Where is that? Manorial lands. Right here. Okay. To get Viking raiders. The horse cavalry. So, I suppose... Where's our navy? How's our navy doing? Still raiding and looting. They're doing pretty well. Off the tip of uh, France there. So, I guess we'll recruit an army. I'll recruit this army. And I'll march down to Hafen. And take it so I can finally unite all of Scandinavia under one banner. This go-around's going pretty well. This, this run-through of the game. So I guess yesterday or today, it might have been today or yesterday, I have no idea, but apparently it has been 15 years of Total War, which is insane. I mean, I played every Total War except Medieval 1, and it's just crazy. They were showing, like, the dates of, like, when they were made. It was It's really cool. And then they sh they showcase their, their new ones that are coming out, Total War Arena, which, and uh, Total War... Um, what the hell is it? Total War or something or other? Total War Kingdoms or some shit. Can't remember. And then they they did a teaser at the end for a new Total War, and uh, nobody knows what it is right now. Speculation is it's the new... Uh, or speculation is it's the Warhammer Total War. So it's either... It's that, because it was like a dragon shouting or some shit. So... That'll be interesting. I wonder how that'll go over. Total War is usually a pretty grounded, um, like, grounded in history type game. But that didn't ever stop any modder ever. And the Total War, like, Lord of the Rings Total War uh, mod that came out for Medieval 2, I believe there was even a Warhammer mod, were both insanely popular. So, I suppose we'll find out. It'll be interesting, to say the least. Hmm. So I need... I need a fishing wharf. What do I need? Community markets. Where is that? 
over it there. Okay. So I got one turn to wait. I'm going to get these armies ready, and then I'm going to march south. We'll take Hoffen, and then uh, hopefully my armies will be strong enough. I'm going to take uh, modern-day, like, Holstein, or uh, Kiel, whatever you want to call it. Um, or, you know, northern Germany. I, I don't know what it's called nowadays. But uh, we'll take that, and we'll probably take the coast. And just have our own little Scandinavian empire. And then as the winter comes, we march. We slowly creep south and do work. And by work, I mean pillaging, raiding, or burning shit to the ground. You know, all the, all the normal barbarian Viking stuff. Oh, Eastern Roman separatists. The stranger, oh boy, a stranger hooded and cloaked has arrived in our midst. He'll show you for a price. Um, burger. Um, I can pay the man, I can barter with him, or I can take the information. Let's barter with him. See if he will barter. Alright, let's take this army down here. This army is going to be ready soon. Um... Sanitation and growth. I really don't need sanitation and growth. I do need this, though. How big is this guy's army? I couldn't reach him if I wanted to, could I? And this army is still recruiting soldiers. Let's just do four. That way I'm not losing too much money here. We'll take Hoffen. I'll take Angelus, Rugion. These guys are my allies, so I'm not going to bother them. Take tur Turfaludum, Flavellum, if I can. Scalius. Yeah, just take the northern coast for the time being. So, uh, let's see. Anyone like me? Can I get some trade going with some people? The Franks dislike me. Gaul dislikes me. The Jutes like me. I'm at war with them, though. I'm sure you have many pleasantries for me, but... There you go. Lugians, the Rugians, the Saxons, Tibetans, Hererians don't like me in the Western Roman Empire, who apparently is still pretty strong. I've never seen the computer pull off a Western Roman Empire and survive. It's ridiculous. So let's see. I'm trying to think. What else do I... Like, I'm trying to keep, like, a schedule, even though I know it's never going to happen. I had one going for a while for a recording, but I kind of gave up on it. I don't know. But, uh, definitely this series and Darkest Dungeon are the ones that I have going right now. I want to get City Skylines, which is a... Paradox made a better version of SimCity, basically. And, uh, it's, it's good. From what I've seen, it's really good. So, I'm gonna probably get that in the next couple weeks. But, uh, it's a shame you guys can't see it, but today, uh, if, <laughs> I know most people are like, strategy games all the way, or whatever, but, but, uh, I'm a, I'm a diversity gamer, so I play everything. And, uh, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, whatever. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V's heist mode is coming out today. So, or actually already came out. Yeah, it already came out, so, uh, I'm going to play it, uh, later today with my friends. It's a shame that I can't record it so that you guys can see it because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Grand Theft, if you don't own Grand Theft Auto 5 and in the year 2015, I don't know what you're doing if you're a video gamer. Because that's an awesome and great game. Honestly, though, who doesn't own Grand Theft Auto 5? Uh, I can liberate them. I could sack it. I could loot and occupy. That would really fuck up my shit, though. Just occupy it. Why not? Ready for 
Thanks for the land, man. We got a smithy, all the fishing jetties, the chieftain's hall. Man, you people. Let's actually tear this down. Smithy. Nordic raiders. I think they're completely... What do I get out of a smithy? Smithy. Nordic axe warband. From a steel forge. Are they even worth it? I don't think they are. Nordic axe warband. What the hell do these guys look like? Nordic axe warband. Nordic axe warband. These are the local garrisons. This doesn't tell me what I'm getting. I know none of these are Nordic Axe Warband. Not worth it. I'm burning it down. Burn it down. I'm gonna build a farm and shit. So how bad did we take a beating? Not at all. These guys are badass. So let's upgrade our army. My integrity is devoted. They love my king. Uh, we're going to do guerrilla warfare, and then we're going to do... Hunters? No. I'll do guerrilla warfare. Double guerrilla warfare. Alright, I'm going to take this army, and we're going to march all the way down to the border with the Angolas. And hopefully they'll come and attack me. And once they do, I'll kill them. So let's see if I can bait them into attacking me. I'll even go into their land. If they attack me during the winter, I get a morale bonus. So It's all good. Let's see if they attack me. The Saxons, the Almanians, the Lugabirds. So I guess it's like every playable faction goes first. And then the factions you can't play as go afterwards. The Eastern Roman Empire and the Western Roman Empire, who are really no threat to me right now. Or ever. They usually don't attack Scandinavia. It's usually the other way around and they get destroyed. Are they going to come out and attack me? Ooh, they got a big army with cheese units. Warhounds? Really? Mm, that's kind of frightening. Let's retreat and see if I can get them by themselves. Nope. Well, I guess I'm going to have to fight them. Mm. Nordic levies. We have a lot of bow troops, so we should be able to kill everyone. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to hope that my swordsmen are competent and we could kill them all they have a lot of warhounds like that's such a cheese unit they're so bad they don't do anything in in all the total wars i've ever played warhounds and like i think in rome one they had um like fire pigs which were actually useful they would, like, run at elephants, and they'd burst into flames. It's terrible, but funny all at the same time. Or incendiary pigs, that's what they were. And <laughs> they would just run around on fire. And you could kill, like, large amounts of soldiers, because they just run around on fire and light them on fire. But the Warhounds have always been, like, a cheese unit, and they don't do anything. They're like, release the hounds, and they don't do anything. <laughs> They're just annoying. They're lucky if they get one or two kills. Speaking of Warhounds, uh, my friend got me uh, Stronghold Crusader 2, if you guys know what that is. And uh, I was playing that. And I've never played the original Stronghold Crusader series. So, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, this, this game was the bad one or whatever. It wasn't as good as the older ones, but, you know, having never played the older ones, that game is fantastic. I love that game. <laughs> it's so much fun. But the Warhounds in that game are legit. They straight up just kill bitches. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so let's wait. I mean, they have to attack me at some point. These guys are pretty cool. 
This is the first time I've been seeing this unit. It was a frozen, barren landscape. I don't see anyone. Men of the North! Well, I suppose we're marching forward. My only concern is they have a lot of cavalry. I don't see them, which means they're probably trying to link up with their their allies, their reinforcements. So let's see if we can find them. Hey, look, it's like. It's like a solitary tree <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if they're behind this mountain. Or not mountain, but hill. V? Huh. Didn't know you could turn your camera up. I don't know what use that is, but you know, whatever. Are they top of this mountain? Send a unit up there to scout. Oh, they are. They formed up on the mountaintop. Or on the side of the mountain. Alright, well then, let's form like this. I'm gonna have my spearmen. We're gonna take the lowland. Like that. The warriors will kind of take the highland. So I don't see their other army, which means they're back here. Is there a deer? There are some deer. There is their army. Okay. So you know what I think I'm going to do? Is uh, while they all march over this way to congregate, I'm going to form up on the hilltop and use it as a defensive line. So I'm actually going to rush my archers, something like that. Take the spearmen I have and put the spearmen along the like ridge top. And I'll take all the swordsmen and place them like there. Warhounds, 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 warhounds. These units are so useless. My worry is they have a lot of cavalry. Cavalry is usually like the bringer of doom in this game. Cavalry is really overpowered. I don't know about overpowered, but they're really, really powerful in this game compared to other Total War franchises, if you will. And take these guys, kind of put them along the mountain top like that. That and their Germanic noble will like that. So there's the bulk of their army. Warhounds, Nordic Levy, Nordic Levy, Nordic Levy, Nordic 
arc levy, an arc levy. Fifty bajillion fucking cavalry. You know what? I'm gonna take a unit. Take two units of spears. Have a chill right there. So I believe these guys have like the fear ability or some shit. All right, let me see. Immune to fear, they scare everyone. Okay. So these guys are actually fear units. Like when they attack, they scare the crap out of people. Which is kind of legit. Okay. So let's try and bait their cavalry a little bit. We'll form something like that. Because, I mean, these archers really can't hit anything from back here. My archers should have a longer range than them anyway. Should. Keyword. I think they do, but they have to be pretty far out from my my army here to be effective. Guys gonna attack me? There it is. Come on, game. Stop fucking with me. Ugh, God. This game sometimes. Pathfinding is dog shit. Why are you hiding on the side of the mountain? They've unleashed the hounds. Oh no, my game's lagging because there's 50,000 warhounds. Yeah. These guys can gotta stay where they are, in all honesty. Oh, here comes their cavalry. We kind of interrupted their charge. He's fine, please. God, the cavalry is so annoying. Reform. About to be hit from behind. Reform. Come on. The men are broken and running for their lives. Running. Here come the hounds of war. Ever since they updated the game, the battles love to like lag like this. It's kind of annoying. We've actually routed one of their units. We have to, like, camp this hilltop. Which 
We just have to like hold the hilltop. Well, I don't know if I can win this, so my goal is just to do, at this point, as much dam damage as possible. Take that unit, and this unit, into this shit. This unit is gonna come down. It's gonna come down here. These guys can actually do shield wall. That's pretty legit, not gonna lie. Um, uh, have him brace those guys. Don't you dare run. Charge in. Reinforce. Go, men. Maul them. God, their cavalry so damn annoying. We never had an advantage. <laughs> they outnumbered us like four to one. Or something ridiculous. I have three units spread out holding back all these guys. I don't think my general's gonna survive this. Who's, who are these guys fighting? They're not fighting anyone. Get in there. If I can break their center, maybe. And rally. Maybe we can route their center. I mean, I'm not really fighting soldiers here. I'm fighting these fucking Warhound dudes. Sure is annoying as hell. Surprisingly, all of my swordsmen are still in this fight.
Senrig, the Nordic warlord. He's actually about to, like, run. Oh, they've already got Nordic warlords? Entire unit has perished. Yes, we routed their general. They got cavalry routing. Get in there. Oh my god, they're just piling men in. The only place we're holding is the center. Did they rally? They rally their Nordic warlord that's been mauled. far holding the hilltops have been good but my general's been surrounded you will fight and die like an honorable nordic viking you'll fight to the death push You fought bravely, man. We actually routed them. Okay, disappearing men. Go, rescue your general. Rescue your general. Wow, they kind of rescued their general. That's amazing. Like, rallied. You'll all be surrounded in death. Fight. Fight, men. Fight to the death. Aw, oh, general died. Oh my god. The size of their army. Ugh. Oh, they're all they're all dead. Rip. A close defeat. So at some point that battle was even. Wow, we mauled their first army. <laughs> Look at that. They were mauled. You know what? That was a worthwhile fucking defeat. I'll take it. We killed so many of them. Every swordsman, like, went home with 200 heads, like 150 heads. That's crazy. How do they already have Nordic uh, warlords? I don't know what that's under. I don't know what uh, army unit upgrade that is. Because the Nordic warlords pretty badass. They're scary. I still have, like, a Germanic Warlord or some shit. Which is, like, a low tier. I'm not gonna fight this. Ugh, dead. 
We actually managed to murder some of their units. Now, are they going to attack me? Oh, good. A whole full stack army is going to lay siege. Um, let's see what happens. I'm just going to auto-resolve it. Close victory. Somehow I won that. Cool. Rip Gouty. Chieftain's house. Tear it down. Tear that down. Alright, well, I gotta recruit another army since they all died. Girdlick. He's heartbroken. He's good in a fight. Sidgir is stupid. Powermonger. Uh. A looter? He's a merchant. Let's just have this relentless attacker. Let's get some herdmen. I get some spearmen. Some hurlers. And we'll go attack them. But I'm going to end this part here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. And I appreciate it quite a bit. So until next time, stay tuned.